The School of EMS Guam Paramedic Program is nearing its final phase. The first ever on Guam, the program started back in May 2020 with initially 36 firefighters from the Guam Fire Department. There are now 24 students remaining. The course requires a lot of dedication on top of their already tedious work schedules. GFD Chief Dan Stone says the next step is for some of the students to head to Texas. We do still have a few um, areas to complete. Um, I'm hoping that we were, were able to get uh, everybody that has been successful in the course uh, graduated within the next few weeks. We have currently 17 of our firefighters in this cohort that are moving into their final phase of the program, uh, which will require them to uh, travel off island uh, to be able to do their field practicals uh, over at the School of EMS. Once they complete the course, successfully pass all the tests, and graduate, they will be certified at the highest level of emergency medical technician, which is at the paramedic level. Um, in addition to our current advanced life support program, um, the capabilities that the, these paramedics will be able to bring are much higher. In addition to our current advanced life support capabilities and in accordance with medical protocols, our GFD paramedics will have a higher level of knowledge and abilities on the use of administration of drugs not currently used by our GFD EMS system. The paramedics will also have advanced technical applications for specific cardiac interventions. Now, along with the COVID pandemic, this program did have its share of challenges. It was in February of last year when the Commission on Accreditation of Allied Health Education Programs pulled accreditation for Guam's paramedic program, which meant firefighters in the course would not be nationally certified paramedics when they graduate. But that has since been resolved, as students will have the opportunity to schedule their national certification testing upon their return from Texas. Chief Stone thanks the governor and lieutenant governor for making the launch of the program possible, as well as Dr. Mary Okada and her staff at Guam Community College, who have been helpful in ensuring the success of the program. Dave De La Sola from the Department of Labor for allowing access to the apprenticeship program, and the Guam Memorial Hospital and Guam Regional Medical City for allowing the students to do their clinicals. Reporting for KUM News, I'm Jonah Goncharfris.